Okay, in this video, we're going to make an enemy. We're going to make our first enemy, and the first enemy is a small plane that simply flies downward. It does not shoot. When it hits the main plane, the game's over. We need to make a sprite for the enemy plane uh, and an object. So let's do that real quick. Create sprite, call it sprite enemy, and I'll load the sprite of enemy one. We're gonna make a total of four uh, different enemies. You'll notice the sprite, the plane is flying the opposite direction because it's gonna fly towards us, of course. And then I'll make the object for this enemy. So I'll call it object enemy. And I'm gonna call it enemy one because I'm gonna have multiple enemies. Okay, uh, we need two important uh, events for this to ha happen. In the creation event, we're gonna set the vertical speed to four to make the plane fly downwards. So create event, set vertical speed, set it to four. When the plane reaches the bottom of the room, we make it reappear at a random place at the top of the room in exactly the same way as we did for the islands. So hopefully you remember this. What we did is in the step event, we tested a variable and that variable we're gonna test is y. And if it's larger than 640, or we can use room underscore height, both would be the same thing. So if that's the case, what we want to do is we want to move and we want to jump to a position which is random. So the word random and I go room underscore width and the Y position, just like the other one, I'll stick this at negative 64, let's say. Uh, so it's going to start above and again, keep moving down. Now we're going to do the collision event. So the first thing we want to do is collide with a bullet. So to do that, I need to have an explosion, the sound effects, and I'm going to do that in the next video. So for now, I'll leave it there.